we got towels, and we got the lighting of the gods, bro. <laughs> Listen. Come on, guys. Stay Uh, let's start this video. Alright, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. I am half naked. Um, this is not usually how you see me, but we don't care because oh, it's very echoey. Uh, that's better. Uh, usually I'm not half naked in front of the camera like this when I started a video, but I'm in my hotel room because I am in Cologne. I am in Cologne, Germany. So I, I'm, I'm sorry for the, the lack of videos the past few days because it's Wednesday when I record this and I, you know, go home on Sunday. So, you know, it's kind of a long time. No videos, but I want to give you guys a little bit of room tour here of this hotel, starting off with the bathroom. Uh, the, the lighting is kind of, the lighting is kind of OP, guys. Uh, we got a sink right here, we got a toilet, we got, you know, all kinds of soaps and stuff. We got a shower, we got a bathtub, we got towels, and we got the lighting of the gods, bro. <laughs> Listen! Okay, it's it's unfair that this lighting looks this good. Like, ooh, I have a hole in my underwear. What is going on? What is going on? What is that? But cool. Yeah, I'm wearing uh, my new jeans, by the way, that I picked out with my girl V. So me and V went to the store. Look, and we bought some very stretchy pants because that's what I need. But yeah, this lighting, look at the, uh, like, pff, damn. Okay, I got a little bit leaner over the days because I've been a little bit sick, but still, like, the definition is coming. That's a thumbnail. Okay, uh, moving on. So I have two beds. Or it's like it's like one bed, but like it is two beds. I got all my stuff here. I got some uh, G fuel with me. I got, also got my pre-workout with me just in case I want to work out. I got nightstands. I got a little desk here. Oh, I haven't I haven't even seen the view myself yet. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of nice. Well, it doesn't look as nice on camera. <laughs> So yeah, that's, the, that's pretty much already it, bro. Um, so I'm here for ESL Cologne, uh, which is a Counter-Strike event with the team. And um, it's more of like, for me, it's like meeting the team and stuff, and hanging out with them and getting to know them because I will be working with them and on the fitness stuff, of course. Yeah, let's just go to the next day because like I'm super tired, look like shit, I want to shower. I just want to relax and sleep. So uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And um, on Friday, Tico is coming as well, which is going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, uh, peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And uh, welcome to the video. Welcome to day two here in Cologne, Germany, in my hotel room. It's just been cleaned. I'm so happy. I look like I have chocolate on my lips because I just had a chocolate donut. Uh, I had breakfast at like nine. I woke up like super early. There's this big ass supermarket that's super clean. It's the best supermarket I've ever been to. I literally love it. It's like super clean. It smells nice. It's like organize and stuff. Uh, I'm about to go drive to the player hotel and uh, then we're gonna meet the players. We're gonna hit the workout. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I wanna show you guys something. This is what's going on. Um, so, the jersey company that ma makes the face jerseys sent me a cutoff jersey. I was like, yo, I need to show my gains, bro. And they were like, I got you. So, you know, the Dutch logo, Face, well, the Dutch flag, the, the face logo. It has my name on the back with number 77. Look at this, bro. It's so clean. So now we're gonna go drive, and I know Kiyoshima's joining. I'm not sure um, who else is joining, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, let's head to the hotel, let's head to the gym, and let's get this workout in, boy. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the commentary part of this video. Um, I wanted to do a, a workout commentary since I did a workout with Kiyoshima. Um, Face Kiyoshima is one of the uh, players of the CSGO team. So if you didn't know already, I'm working with the whole Face Clan Esports team. So that would be Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, and also Overwatch. Um, so yeah, Kiyoshima is one of the guys that I've been working with um, for even a longer time that I've been with um, having this you know, title of being an esports fitness coach. Uh, because uh, he hit me up directly a couple months ago uh, wanting for uh, some advice. So uh, we've been texting here and there and I took him for a workout because he wants to work out every day. 
so it's really good but of course during a tournament you can't really do anything really crazy because you don't want them to be physically in pain or like sore um, because they have to be sure to be um, on A1 level uh, so they can play well. So what we did is a full body or a upper full upper body workout. Uh, we started out with shoulders. Obviously, we started with a w mobility warm up, which I didn't record unfortunately. But we did some mobility warm up uh, for the shoulders, and then we started with uh, side races with the cable. So that was our shoulder exercise for today. Um, then we moved on to do some back. So we did every muscle group uh, one exercise, and I uh, told him. Uh, well, I'm not told, I didn't tell him, but um, I let the workout and I told him what exercise to do. Uh, so we did some side raises with cable, which I corrected his form a little bit. Uh, he was going a little bit too high and with too much of a stretched arm, so I made sure he was bending his arm. Um, then we did some pull downs, which he did quite well actually. The only th tip I did give him was would, uh, when you go up uh, to get a full stretch in the lats, you get your head under the bar. Um, when you go up, uh, that way you get a good stretch. Uh, then we moved on some bench press for chest, obviously, um, which I gave him a, a few pointers to have his feet a little bit back, so it, there's a little bit of an arch in the lower back. And um, for the rest, he did it very, very well. Um, I think he watched my video, he told me he watched my bench pressing video, so he was doing it pretty well um, for my standards. Um, when I do go to the gym with someone relatively new, uh, usually the bench presses has, you can, you know, have a lot of little small details um, which he it can help him um, you know with his form but he did it really well every exercise that we did by the way was four sets eight repetitions eight to twelve I think um, I think mostly we've done eight to ten actually I'm not sure if we did twelve but uh, it was four sets for everything and then we moved on to some arms we started with a straight bar bicep curl oh it's we started with an easy bar bicep curl uh, with the cable um, no problems with this, he was doing it really well. He was doing it very slow and controlled. Kiyoshima's problem at the first, at first was he was doing the exercises too fast, so he was rushing it. Uh, I told him to slow it down, make sure everything is controlled with the best way um, you know, to hit your, the muscles that you wanna hit. Now, this is first problem here, as you can see, his uh, back is very rounded, so I told him to keep his shoulders back. That was the first thing that I gave him. And as you can see, the second thing is his elbows are going way, way forward. We want to minimize that movement. Uh, one tip I did give him was stand closer to the machine because the machine is pulling you. Um, if you're standing far away from the machine, the machine weight is going to pull your elbows forward. So you don't want that. So that's the good tips that I give him. Enjoy the rest of this video. It's going to be a lot of Counter-Strike clips. So if you enjoyed that, please make sure to keep watching. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Um, and if you do keep watching, enjoy the video. What's going on guys? So day number three, uh, I picked up Tico from the airport and we made it to our own lounge here. We have a face lounge and chill in here. And I have to say, I've been to two uh, COD events so far in my life. This is a C my first ever CS event. I am kind of stunned by how fucking huge this is. So let me just show you how I walked into this thing. Just walk in, just chilling. And then... <laughs> Whoa. The crowd is crazy, there's like 10,000 people out here. And then also, we got hella food, dog. We got chicken. We got more chicken and pasta. We got hot dogs, bruh. We even got chocolate mousse. I'm taking one of these bad boys. You want one? I'm good, thank you. You good? What's the sauce actually? Uh, <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> Tiku is like a normal person. I eat dessert first. This is life. Twist 
two of his own. It's down to Nitro. He's down to a one versus two. There's a chance. Hey! Especially in this arena. It's halftime right now. We're up to our team to uh, on train. We got what time? Do we have CT not assigned next team? CT or T? I never know the difference between. Wait, wait, what's the difference between CT? CT is defending. Okay. It's the cops. Connors, the terrorists. The terrorists are gonna plant the bomb. So they're the attacking See, I'm a CS noob, you know. Still learning. I got this guy teaching me, so. I mean, I'm in good hands. But I'm really excited to watch the second half because we are kind of destroying them right now. It's looking good. Our eighth team to make it to the playoffs, surprisingly. Our third team potentially to make it to a semi. Hold your breath because it's one stand with all our mass. Pick up your Let's go! 16 to 5. This tournament, they haven't impressed me, but this is back to business as usual. Liquid on the own map, you're going to be picking up five rounds. Disappointed to see it wasn't as climatic as it could have been. But he senses it. This is all timing now, Anders. Who's going to look the right way at the right yes. time? I think this is day number four in the vlog already. Semi-final day today. Uh, we play SK right now. I think the maps are Overpass, Cash, Inferno. I think the third map. Like people, the crowd is hyped. So I am really excited to see. Uh, I know there's a lot of face fans. We're really nervous. Tico is nervous. <laughs> <laughs> your your so foot, bro. What? Your foot is like really nervously like. <laughs> I love that. Jacob, predictions. What do you think? Zero. <laughs> so right now we're down 1-0 in map count. It's now halftime, six to nine. Um, in favor of SK. Uh, it's been very, very nerve-wracking, guys. The plays are so close, the timing is so close. It, come, it comes down to like the smallest margins. Uh, so hopefully they fall in favor of us. Second half, and we can go to a map three. That would be the best scenario now. My voice, is like, we've been shouting. Me and Tico have been like fucking shouting so hard because. It's really important for that boy. It's not the cam, but what the hell? They're still having a tough time in this game, but now all of FaZe converging over towards the Phelps is here, headshot, he needs to get this, his Atiba has an SMG in the bomb site, he's on fire, he's getting a kill, there's Colterra, but two quick kills for FaZe, they're in the site, they need more, Kyo can't land it. That UMP work, does Ford not consider it long enough, Ford is cautious everywhere, he's such a well-rounded player, it's Carrigan. Jumping up, is he gonna find it? You can feel it building. Close towards the box, that being rain on the other side. This could be big. This could be the gateway, this could be your opener. Flash comes in, he's not blind, but he doesn't expect it. He didn't see rain. Oh! oh, geez. Insane stuff from rain. Blind for the moment, but he's got Phelps for support. Here he is. Hollow and rain get the kills. Good afternoon, 12.31, day five, last day here in Cologne. I am sitting here at the table with Jacob. Hello. Hello, Jacob. Um, I'm about to head home because it's V's birthday today and I want to make sure I get there in time. We didn't make the finals. If we made the finals, I would have stayed, of course, to watch them play the finals, but since we didn't make the finals, I it means I could go home a little early. Yeah, it was a fun time. 
I didn't expect, I don't know what I expected from Cologne this year. Like, I've never been, this is the first CSGO event, as you know, that I've ever been to. Fucking crazy, bro. 15,000 people screaming. Thank you so much for watching. Leave that thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And I'll check in with you guys with another workout video very, very soon. Normal life returns tomorrow. Tomorrow's gym time again. I'm gonna hit it hard, and I'll see you guys then. Ciao.